Hey guys, and welcome back to Swift Goose. In this video, I'm going to show you how to build this particle emitter in SpriteKit. This is for our ice shard spell animation, which we're going to use in the future. And this video continues where we left off in the previous one. I'll put those links in the description below. Okay, so to make a sprite emitter, first thing we do is come to new and file. And we're going to look for our particle emitter, sprite kit particle emitter file. Next, I'm going to leave this on snow for now. And here we're going to call this ice shard and leave it in our project directory here. And you'll see we get ice shard.sks. So the initial default, we got the falling snow, different sizes, different lifetime, etc. Let's first change this away from spark and change it to ice. So we get bigger uh, drops coming down and then with their emitter this is how many are coming out so we can go here oops we can drag this to the right and you'll see a lot more come out or down to zero I'm gonna put this one at 200 for now that'll give a decent amount of snowflakes and the lifetime this is just how long they last so if we go down to like 0.72 they only last for a quarter of a second three quarters of a second. Let's change this to 0 0.1. Whoops. Change this to 0 0.1. And then we'll change the range to 0 0.5. So now they last a different amount of time. You can click in here and drag this around too if you want to see it from different angles. The position range. So I want to change this to be 0 so that they all are coming on the 0 at part of the x-axis. If you change this to 150, spread out more, or like it was before, 363. I want them all coming from the same spot in X. And then from Y, I'll just change this to three so we get some variation in the height. Again, if you put this at 150, it'll be more like a vertical line. Change it back to three. And then the angle is the angle at which they are released. I'm gonna put this at zero. And then the range, I'll put this at 45. So they'll come out between 0 and 45 degree angle. Again, you can set this to 180 and they'll come out like a straight line or a half circle. But let's set this to 45. Speed is how fast they're going to go. So if we set this to 200, you'll see they get they cover more distance in the same amount of time. 1000, same thing. Again, I want this to be around 100 and the range is going to be 50 so that we get more compact Kind of animation. In our acceleration, we'll put this at 50 and put the y at 0. And then for alpha, we're going to leave that alone. For scale, we can leave that alone as well. And same with the range. Rotation, leave that alone. And then for our color ramp, you can add different colors in here. So how they start and how they finish. So let's add a different color in here. And we'll, we're going to set this to blue so that the second half of the, the trail is basically blue. So let's make it a ice blue like that and we'll drag it over a little bit more. And then the front, we want to add some green notes in there. So let's add some green. And then we can also drag this over and then maybe add a little bit of purple hue for the ice. Lower the opacity a little bit. So we get kind of a cool ice looking attack like this. I don't want there to be too much pink and too much green, so let's drag these over, but they'll still be there anyway. Blend mode, we're gonna put this on add, and that will combine them all together to get this nice greenish purple blue ice shard. Again, we can move this around and see how it looks. And now, if we wanna go back and add this into our scene, we come back to our game scene.swift, and now we can add our shard particle emitter into our scene. Let's do let shard particle sk emitter node. And we'll come down below our player two and do shard particle equals sk emitter node file named the ice shard. And again, we have to add this to our scene. Whoops, and we have to do a force unwrap here. So let's fix that and put a force unwrap. 
itself dot add child shard particle. Okay, so now if we run this, and there it is. So our ice shard particle is there, just so we can see it in the real world. It doesn't do anything right now, but at least we can use this as a spell animation later. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. And have a great rest of the day.